So we'll move now to discuss the, discussing the AV expression cassette. Uh, so the uh, wild type AV virus is predominantly gutted. So the only part of the uh, wild type AV virus that is maintained when uh, with vector production is the in terminal, uh, terminal repeats, which flank the open reading frame for insertion of your expression cassette. And these ITRs are required for AV uh, vector packaging. The um, AV genome is a single stranded genome that is approximately 4.8 KBs. And this is sufficient to package uh, both uh, factor nine as well as a truncated version of factor eight, B domain deleted factor eight. Looking a little bit more uh, specifically into the components of the expression cassette, the uh, transgene used is um, uh, for factor, for predominantly for nearly all hemophilia B trials is uh, at this point is now factor nine Padua. So factor nine Padua is a naturally occurring missense mutation that has approximately eightfold greater specific activity. And it's not demonstrated any uh, safety concerns in clinical trial. For uh, hemophilia A, um, to meet AV packaging constraints, uh, all AV vectors use a truncated version of factor eight, uh, which is uh, most classically the B domain deleted uh, version of factor eight that's used as factor eight SQ. Uh, there is a single trial that's using uh, an a, a other variant of a, a truncated version of, of factor eight. Importantly, the, um, uh, the clinical use of uh, recombinant B domain deleted factor eight products is uh, these products have been in clinical use for approximately 20 years. You can see the commercially available products here. Um, and they, uh, it's important that the uh, uh, factor eight uh, maintains full percoagulant function and has not demonstrated any difference in safety and efficacy. So again, these recombinant products contain the exact same amino acid sequence as what is ultimately uh, derived from uh, most AV vectors in trial for hemophilia A. And the added advantage of using a truncated version of, of factor eight, so these B domain deleted factor eight or factor eight SQ uh, confers uh, increased mRNA and ultimately a modest increase in uh, secreted protein, at least in recombinant uh, cell line production. And then to impart um, liver-specific expression, that's predominantly dependent on the use of liver-specific promoter and enhancer elements. And then lastly, I think it's important that collectively uh, with the expression cassette, even if the exact same promoter and transgene are used, the actual genome configuration of the expression cassette uh, can vary quite a bit. And this is related to use of codon optimization. So this is the introduction of synonymous mutations uh, that improve uh, efficiency of ultimately translation of the protein. And then vector uh, so-called CPG content, and this may be related to uh, risk of developing an immune response to the vector and or related to uh, likelihood of responsiveness to immunosuppression, which we'll talk about uh, in a moment. 